Hello and welcome back and we have a dry day <laughs> finally it's been a miserable week right so on to the positives I'm going to get in the first early tomatoes I've got all these are the Grishovka and they're looking really healthy <laughs> whereas my Latar <laughs> Oh, I dropped a clanger on these. I left them in water for too long. So rather than stressing them out, I stressed them out the other way. <laughs> they got edema. Um, they'll be fine. And um, what I need to do is just pot them on now. Uh, I don't know whether you can just see on this one. I'll probably do a bit more of a close up, but we've got the first flower coming out on these. Um, so two are for me and one's for my mum and two of the Grishovka are from your and four from me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pot those on but first what else I need to do these are all the other tomatoes and they're doing really well so what I'll do is I'll go through those at the end of this video right so what I'm going to do now is to pot on these um, Grishovka it's just Pot them on into these seven and a half litre tubs. Uh, it's just got general compost in. Uh, it's new. Uh, it's the only what time they actually buy new compost. So what I'm going to do is let me just get this one. Whereas the other ones, I will be setting them down quite low in the tubs. These I'm not going to set down as low. And the reason being is if, if I set these down really low and they get a real good root system that also means the uptake of water is very fast. Now both Grishovka and the Latar can be affected by too much water uh, all in one go. So this gets blossom end rot and these split. So last year I did put them right the way down and I did suffer at the start. I lost a lot of tomatoes on the Grishovka to Blossom End Rot. So like I say, I'm going to just do them um, just a little bit further down. Not as deep as I normally would uh, do them. Right, let's make a start. Right, and on to planting on these Grishovka. And look at this for a root system. That's fantastic, that is. You know, there's plenty on there. And all I did was, I know I've said this before, but I just planted the seedling right down to the bottom of the pot. And so I've got that root system here, which you can see, and that, that really is a healthy root system. But again, I don't want that to be replicated now, going down further down into the pot, because you can see that's going to be a real uptake of water. And that's how I got suffered with uh, blossom end rot with these at the first start of uh, last year. So that's the depth I'm going to go with. Right, just going to uh, top that up now. And what I'll do is I'll bring you back uh, once I'm passing on the guitar. <laughs> the sorry state one that is. Right, let's have a look how this guitar is doing. So it's got a lovely root system on it as well. Again, I'm really pleased with planting the seedlings down so deep. We've just got all this these roots. So I may plant this one a little bit further down because these just split um, when they water too much. So I think maybe around about there. <laughs> we'll see how that one goes. Right, I'll bring you back when I've done the others. Right, there we go. The Grishovka and the Latar are in. And like I say, that's the first Latar see, uh, flower on that one. And let me just zoom back out again. And we've also got one there on that one. So what I will do on the Latars is I'll put a mesh right the way around and um, because these are unruly plants and they do need support for all the tomatoes on them. So 
Yeah, I'm really looking forward to those. I'm going to run through what else I'm going to be sewing and doing this week. Um, I'm not going to be able to film it until next week. So what I'll do for next week is I'll probably go do a tour, a bit of a catch up of where everything is at the moment. So first thing I've got to do is I've got to harden off these raw beans. <laughs> They're desperate to go out now, but I don't want to harden them off. With all the storms that we've had over the last week, um, I did that last, last time. They were flying and then we got hit by storms. So I just thought I'd hold off on them uh, for this, the time being and just start harding them off now. Right, I've got a question. So these are the, the Beijou uh, minus two. As you can see, they're flying away now. I've been reading up about pinching out garden uh, peas and minus two. And the question is, do you do that? Um, let me know in the comments. Um, there, there seems to be various different thoughts about it. Some people will do it at the start. Uh, around about this size. Other people would do it when the first flower comes out and other people just say there's no point in it. So what I think I'll do is I'm going to have four uh, of these on each of the bamboo structures wigwam and then I'm going to have one uh, in between. And what I'll do is the one in between I may pinch out one and then leave the other one and see what they do. Whether they do get a bushier one then because that would be ideal, because there won't be a, a, that much of a structure for them to go up. So we'll see how we go with those. So we'll be doing that. And then, <laughs> these are um, courgettes. I desperately need to get these uh, potted on. Um, <laughs> what I did with them is, let me see if I can show you a bit more clearly is actually nipped out that's one of the shells and nipped out the top and that worked really well for them <laughs> it's just me I just leave things a bit too late so I've got to desperately get those on uh, the go and also I need to get all these seeds uh, start on some of these because I've got quite a bit of space in there now um, but I, I'm also going to have to put maybe another shelf in because uh, I've got green mint, uh, white and purple Vesalius and poppies to also so to go out in the garden right what I'll do is I'll just go through all these seeds there's a lot to sow Sanguinea then Golden Detroit and uh, Chicago. Again, that's probably pronounced wrong. I've got to go and do some more uh, chard because the chard at the moment is doing really well. And um, that's the one that was over in wintering in the, the greenhouse that's gone out. Like I said, that's really doing really, really well, but I don't know how long that will last. And then kales, I'm going to start off um, all the kales. We're really enjoying the kales at the moment. Um, not actually as the kale leaf, but all their flowers. They're going well with the purple sprouts and broccoli. So that's a real nice harvest that we're having every week from those. So what I'm going to do, I've got Russian red uh, kale, dazzling blue, kale cottages, and another Russian red. Uh, three different, two different types of the Russian red. Then more onions and I'm going to start off with new packets now. Uh, I've been using old packets <laughs> and it's just not working out. I mean a whole load was uh, sewing in there. I probably did run about 10 to 15 seeds just to do, see if any of them would germinate and that's the only one. I don't have much luck with his onion seeds. So I may start to do some research to see if there's another way of trying to chit them or something like that because that's the only thing I'm having problems with actually growing. Everything else, these are the Chinese cabbage. I've done a lot of those. 
that's just so that I can start putting them out with the brassicas so that I can just feed the slugs and again all the brassicas they're doing fine so what else am I sowing as well I may do some turnips uh, the sweet bell and the snowball and then I may do a few <laughs> few radishes uh, again I never really have much luck with these it's not because they don't grow it's because the wood lice keep eating them so what I may do at some point is do something similar to the carrots that I've done there I may even do them on the outside I don't know just thinking about that then I may do the pot up a bit more and do them on the outside we'll see right I'm gonna start <laughs> it's getting blacker outside I'm gonna start potting on these tomatoes now and then what I'll do is I'll run through all these tomatoes how they're doing because they're doing pretty well and these are just my spares right and these are the other tomatoes um, we are getting flowers on most of them and also we're starting to see the first signs of the side shoots but yeah we've got flowers coming on them so I'm really happy with the way they, these are doing let me just go on to the other ones right and these are the ones for the other side and I don't know what's going on with this one here um, it's just got a mass of uh, big flowers yeah really happy with the way they're going at the moment so these will get potted on probably in the end of April I think right so like I say I'm really pleased with how the tomatoes are doing there seems to be flowers starting on every one which is what I want is to start getting early flowers on them uh, I don't know what's going on with these, this black beauty uh, I may pinch off that flowers that's really bulbous but yeah everything's doing really well and what I did do is I forgot to mention I've also got uh, some monge to and some sugar snap to also plant in on the other side of the early peas that I've put in right so I've got quite a busy week so what I'm hoping and I hope you also have is some really nice dry weather so we can actually do a little bit of a catch up and to enjoy the sunshine so like i always say i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you again